We got Joey from Man of War, Lemmy from Motorhead, and Ronnie from Dios. What's, what's the story? <laughs> what's the story behind uh, the name of your group? Individual Man of War. groups or the yeah, name of the in, oh, okay. uh, The name Man of War implies that everybody has got battles to overcome, whether it's illness, personal things, uh, a fight to be something different, change your life, and be better at what you are, and just mm -hmm. believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. And you, Ronnie? You have Dio's? Yeah, that was very easy. It's just my name. <laughs> yeah, but what does it mean? It means God. It means God. Now you See? Modest. <laughs> <laughs> but let me, if, if, what is real heavy metal? I have no idea. We play rock and roll, actually, <laughs> my man. Uh, we were going before heavy metal. We are more punk, really. Yeah. We sound more like a punk band. If we had short hair, you would put us in the punk rack. But because we have long hair, obviously, we must be heavy metal now. <laughs> so it's just That's only about how far they think you had. You know? <laughs> but um, it's, all, it's all rock and roll anyway, as far as I'm concerned. All, all this music is the direct descendant of the original. But, do you, Rona, do you think there is any, any group that, that calls that they play heavy metal but is not real heavy metal? Well, I think Joey can answer that for you best. I don't mean to shake this up, but Joey's our heavy metal expert. So we'll, Okay, we take Joey then. He's all false metal. Um, yeah. Do we have any well, false? Well, I think when you have a band like Dio, I think you have a band like Motorhead, they made their careers and their reputations because they play seriously from the heart. I mean, they really care about what they do. Mm -hmm. And I think that means you're true. And I think you can tell the difference between people who are not really interested in the music and they're doing things whether it's for the money or for the fame or for the glory and they don't really care about the most important people which are sitting right there the fans mm -hmm. i mean they really are what's important and they should be treated with respect mm -hmm. do we have any uh, swedish heavy metal group uh yeah there's a great band named hammerfall mm -hmm. and they're they're really good and there's been uh, candle mass and there's been a lot of swedish bands we do so. have some mm -hmm. uh i heard that you your band had the record of playing loud we currently have it. Yeah, how loud was it? Uh, it was about uh, 129 dB for the band, 131 for myself. So how is it with your... Do you have any hearing problems? Sorry, no, you asked me about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? What? And then you do have a lot of fans. Do you think, Ronnie, that uh, heavy metal fans differs in any way from other Fans. I think they're certainly the most loyal of the fans. Sure. Uh, I'm not trying to compare two different forms of music, but I think that the most loyal fans have always been country western music fans right. who have mm -hmm. stood, stood by their, their artists forever. You, one hit for, as a country western artist and you, you're <laughs> locked for life, you know. And I think uh, in some ways the same with, uh, with metal music. I mean, they are uh, not, maybe perhaps not quite as loyal as country western people. You have to have two hits when you're having metal artists. <laughs> uh, but they are extremely loyal. Uh, because, again, it's a form of music that is really looked down upon, has always been looked down upon by moms and dads and, and whatnot, and teachers and professors. And um, I think once that happens, uh, you set up a, a bond between a band and the audience. And they feel uh, that uh, they are being talked down to, that they're, they're considered to be That's dirty right. and stupid. Uh, we don't feel that about ourselves. We don't feel it about the fans that come and see our music. So there is a bond there, and I think Only it's one of the most loyal. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the occasional one, you know, but... <laughs> and but be... There's a great thing when a kid or a little group of kids discovers a band that's an underdog, you know, mm. and then they feel like a secret society, you know. And kids like that, you know, when you're young, that's very important to be in, in your own special group, you know, yeah. and you have all your favorite bands. I mean, we had people leave us when we made our first album, because we sold out, you know. Mm. We're just trying to make a living, but we sold out as far as he was concerned, you know. You like Vikings? Yeah, I, I, think, it's, I think it's incredible to me to think that um, your ancestors, lucky you, um, in their day and their time, um, invented technology. They didn't have radar. They didn't have anything except what they felt, what they thought, and what they could put together from their brains in this incredible weather and sail across the world and feed themselves. And just the laws that they came up with are things that we all live by today. They were just, they were fair. And they, I just think that it's an amazing, amazing heritage. And I hope that the young people here will 
read up on it and study it and not let it be lost. I just think it's tremendous. So we can be proud that you Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And well, then of course, I come from England where we had the Dane law, I remember. <laughs> so, you know. Okay. Uh, and last question. Uh, which one of you is uh, the most uh, gentleman? I think all three. I, I, I really do. Yes. I think everybody's very, very polite in their own way. And, um, you know, when you do this for a period of time and you travel all over the world, mm -hmm. you, you don't waste your energy on people that are negative. You just tend to not bother with them. And I think that's kind of the philosophy that you know, I have. And I think things out of hotels first and then you get, you know, acquire some good manners because it's easy to have good manners. They're free. I don't know why everybody doesn't have them, you know. Mm. I think I'm the biggest gentleman out of the three. <laughs> because, you you? because I'm so small that I have to be a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> well, they beat, you beat me up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you very much, guys, and good luck Thank with you. your tour. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So nice having you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love to kiss beautiful women. Me too. Sveng nesta hög.